Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Gloria MC series, the Moonrise Beach series, and the New Heartbreaker series. So as you guys can see, I do have a package here from Chic Sparrow. This just arrived and I'm so, so excited about it. So um, if you guys follow Chic Sparrow or um, Carrie Harling, um, she is like a YouTuber and she's also on Instagram. She kind of was the one that came up with One Book July and um, Carrie and Chic Sparrow did a collab quite a few years back for one of the Austin Leathers and it was called Carrie um, Harling's Violet and I wasn't able to get my hands on it at the time um, but um, in September um, on the first, you were able to purchase it once again on the website. And so I decided that I wanted to pick up a TN um, in that beautiful, beautiful violet color so that I can use it for this fall. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I just got this one item, but I honestly, I just really want to open it up and see what it looks like because I'm so, so excited. So um, first of all, if you can hear little footsteps in the background, that is my dog. He's here with me, so he might be making some noises in the background. But I'm just going to keep on going because I'm just way too excited about this guy. So with all of your Chic Sparrow packages, it comes with this really cute wrapping paper. I think it's always so adorable. And then you do get um, your TN nicely protected in one of these dust bags, which I do keep and I will store my TNs when they're not in use in this. But here is your product warranty card. So you would write your order number there and then put your item that you purchased so that if anything happens to it, you can have that all ready to go. But let me open this up. So I did get the personal size. Um, I don't have any TNs from Chic Sparrow that are in the personal size, so this is my first one. Oh my gosh, it's more beautiful than I thought it would be. I thought it would be dark, and it is quite dark, but um, mine is a little bit lighter than I expected, and I, I do like that. I have seen some people who have received theirs, and theirs almost looks black in some lights. It is a deep dark violet color. It's gorgeous. So if you guys don't know, this is now part of the Austin collection. Um, they do have three other colors that I do already own. The Moreland, which is just all black. You do have the Darcy, which is kind of like a, a darker brown. And then you have the Emma, which is more of a golden tan color. They also do have Drummond, which is kind of like a deep burgundy color. I think that would be really nice for like Christmas time and the holidays because you can do some really beautiful um, setups with like a deep dark red. But I thought that this one, this beautiful deep dark violet would be gorgeous for the fall time, especially in October for Halloween. So I'm really excited about it. I feel like violet is going to be like one of the colors for next year. I see a lot of planner companies coming out with like a dark purple or like even a lilac color. So I feel like purple is just going to be really popular next year. So um, I really wanted this because the Austin leathers are some of my favorite leathers from Chic Sparrow. So when I saw that they were re-releasing this, I knew that I had to get it. I kept going between getting a personal size and a B6 Slim size. B6 Slim is currently what I'm using as my journal at the moment. And so I do have a few uh, already in that size. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to get another one, but I ended up going with personal. Um, I do have a personal TN from Foxy. I do have a video on that setup if you guys are interested. I'm using it as a home TN. And so I thought that I would pick up this guy and move into this for fall and winter uh, for my home TN setup. But I think it's beautiful. So now that I have it in my hand, I think I made the right choice in getting the personal. I just feel like it's a nice, easy to carry size. It's not too big, not too small, feels great in your hands. I have really small hands, so that is something that I do think about when I am purchasing a TN. But um, I did actually 
asks for um, really smooth leather with no extra markings or anything like that because this is a darker shade. Um, I don't really notice it that much, but for some of the lighter shades, especially in the Austin line like the Emma, sometimes I do like to put those order notes in there um, just so that you get what you want. Now with this TN, they did the dark purple, um, but you do get white stitching and white elastic. So I really like that. It kind of reminds me of like their old school way where they did the contrasting stitching. So I feel like it matches really well with the planner. So this is the size. It's pretty similar to a personal ring size, obviously just without the rings. Let me show it to you again. It's one of my B6 Slims. So this is my current journal at the moment and you can see the B6 Slim is a little bit taller and it's also a little bit wider. So um, this is the size up and then A6 would be the size down. So the personal is kind of like the in-between of that. And if you guys are curious, this is the creme leather and it's in Huckleberry. And these two are pretty much the only two like colored leather TNs that I have from Chic Sparrow. So as you guys can see, the Huckleberry is a little bit of a brighter tone. Um, it kind of reminds me of like berries in a way. This one is much darker. You can see the shine on the Austin leather. It's gorgeous. It's so smooth at the moment. I am really curious to see how this will patina um, and mark up because it is so dark. But with the creme leather, it's pretty resistant to markings. So that is another reason why I like it. I am a big fan of the thicker leathers from Chic Sparrow. So the leathers like the creme, they're pretty thick. And that also goes for the Austin. Now this Austin is pretty thick compared to some of my other ones. I do have a Darcy that is very, very thin. So um, it's not my favorite. I do like a thicker leather. So I'm glad that this one is thicker. Um, let me show you it against my Emma. So this is one of my Emmas. I do have a wide in an Emma too, but this is one of my oldest ones. So you can see it has patinaed quite a bit. And again, this is in the B6 slim size, but these both are the same leather. They're just in the different colors. So you can see they both have the white elastics and the stitching. Um, mine has gone through quite a bit. So the shine is gone a little bit. You can see some marks there. And this one is still brand new, so it's pretty pristine. There's not many marks there. And then because this is the newer one, the pocket configuration is different. I have the Cascade Pocket, so you can order this without pockets at all. That would be the classic, but I always do prefer to get the pockets there. I like the little dip, it kind of looks like a scallop in a way. And then it comes with four elastics there. And these elastics are great quality. You do have the back secretarial pocket. And then you also have the curved pen loop. This is my favorite pen loop. I just feel like a lot of pens can fit in here. It doesn't move around like the removable one. So this setup right here is definitely my favorite when it comes to Chic Sparrow. It's in my favorite leather. Um, my favorite pocket configuration and now one of my favorite colors. So I'm super super excited about the fact that they re-release the Carrie Harling violet color. I am so excited uh, to have this in my hands. I will be doing a setup video showing you how I'm going to be using this home TN as I set it up. So once I get my inserts all ready, I will definitely share that video with you. But if you guys are interested in picking up the Violet from Chic Sparrow or any of the other TNs or folios from their line, um, I do have a referral link that you can use down below. Um, that will get you a little bit of a discount off of your order. So. Definitely take advantage of that if you guys are interested in it. But I just think that this color and this leather combo is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, like I said, I have almost all of the Austin leathers, but I'm still missing the Drummond. So I'm thinking that perhaps when they do like a sale or something, I may pick that one up. There is still also the Dakota part of the Cody line that I still wanna get, maybe in like a standard. 
um, size because I also don't have a standard from Chic Sparrow, but we'll see because at the moment I am really loving personal. I just feel like it's a good like in between size. So that is my new baby. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. If you guys have any questions about TNs or Chic Sparrow, um, you can leave them down below. I can definitely share my experiences and how I like to set up my TNs because I feel like TNs are kind of making a comeback and um, more and more people are using them. In terms of inserts, I do have printable TN inserts available in my shop. We do have them in a lot of different sizes. So if you guys are interested in that, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.